Hi, I'm Hui Lun, and in this video, I'll briefly present to you my MNG final year individual project at Imperial, a motion recognition model with heart rate using smart device. So let's get started. First of all, why do we need this project? As we all know, mental health has been a severe problem around the globe, and one of the most important capacities to develop for individuals is to understand and self-regulate the emotions. With the invention of virtual reality, technologies have helped to increase the accessibility of the therapy while preserving the sense of immersion. At Imperial, the Algorithmic Human Development Research Group has built a VR platform with the emotion recognition capabilities in recent years to perform self-attachment therapy. And in this project, to help augment the emotion recognition functionality in the application, we have defined a model using heart rate information captured from the smart wearable device that can be easily worn while using uh, the VR application. As you can see on the right, it's an armband that can be easily worn in daily life. And the models have reached around an accuracy of 80% of predicting the current dimensions of emotion, which is an emotional scale model that is widely used to study the nonverbal signals in psychology. Also, a simple uh, software platform has been built with the model integrated with an iOS app, a Python server, and a Firestore database. A small trial with the ethical approval has been conducted under the pandemic to evaluate the effectiveness of the model. Now let's have a look at a quick demo of the simple app. So this video was recorded while I was wearing the smart device and the Bluetooth was connected between uh, my phone and the armband. So in this demo, it's using my heart rate and predicting my dimensions of emotion in real time. And also in addition to the app, I've also recorded what's happening at the same time in the backend. And now let's just focus on the app itself. So um, as you can see, it contains three sections, the current heart rate that shows the live reading of my heart rate data and the current dimension rating of uh, what's predicted and returned from the model and the two buttons to control whether to connect to the device or not. And finally, as the heart rate is still considered as personal data, although it's considered as low risk, we have designed a deletion functionality. So when, as soon as the disconnect button is pressed, the app will automatically send an order and that basically asks the server to delete all the heart rate data in the database. So in conclusion, when comparing with the original paper, which we have requested the database from, we can see from the diagram that the colorful bars represent our accuracy results. So they're reaching an accuracy of an average of um, 80%, which is a significant rise compared to 62%, which is the accuracy from the original paper. Um, and also they were using the complex device to measure complex physiological signals. Where on the other hand, our model would only require the participants to wear light and easy to wear armband and still show a significant progress on the result of the model. And last but not least, in terms of the future work. So more extensions could be done for improving the model and contributing further to the self-attachment therapy project. One of the future works involves integration with other physiological modalities. As papers have shown uh, the fusion of modalities performed better than analyzing a single modality. So other projects under the larger SAT project have used like different physiological information for training. So including voice, utterance, and facial expressions. So with the fusion of the available signals, it is expected that the model would have better accuracy and more general predictions, hence contribute further to the self-attachment therapy project. So thank you for watching and I hope you have found something interesting in the video.